It's Tuesday, November 29th, 2011. I'm Bridget Carey on CNET.com, and it's time to get loaded. The AT&T and T-Mobile merger may have many hurdles to keep it from succeeding, but AT&T isn't throwing in the towel. In fact, the New York Times reports AT&T has been trying to cut a deal with the prepaid provider Leap Wireless, which sells its phones under the name Cricket Wireless. It could sell a big chunk of T-Mobile to Leap, like customer accounts and wireless spectrum, making Leap Wireless the fourth largest carrier and, by strengthening another competitor, it could appease the Department of Justice to drop its fight against the acquisition. Pretty much every photo in a magazine these days is retouched or photoshopped, but what if there was a software that could tell you how much a photo was edited? Computer science students at Dartmouth are proposing a software tool that can measure how much a model photo has been changed with photo editing software, and it would use a scale from one to five. The goal of the creators is to bring more honesty and transparency to advertising. The research is being published this week in the National Academy of Sciences Journal. And in other innovation news, students at the University of Tokyo can turn an everyday object into a computer interface using projectors and human gestures. Turn a pizza box into a laptop. Turn a banana into a banana phone. It's called invoked computing, and it's the concept that computers should learn our behaviors and gestures and respond to us. But I don't think anyone will be trading in their smartphone for a banana phone anytime soon. The Groupon stock continues to fall since it went public earlier this month at $20 a share. There was a brief price boost, but it's now at about $15 and overall has dropped 41%. Analysts say the immediate future doesn't look so bright for Groupon stock. When you look at the current economy and its business model, some small businesses aren't seeing the benefits of working with Groupon. Customers don't always want to come back after redeeming their discount. Facebook is getting closer to joining Groupon as a public stock. The Wall Street Journal reports Facebook could have an initial public offering that would value it at $100 billion, and it could come between April and June of next year. If Facebook is valued at $100 billion, that would trump tech giants like Cisco worth $96 billion or Hewlett Packard worth $52 billion. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Bridget Carey for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.